So uh, let's unbox this, but, but let's read out the contents of the box. So obviously it says 16 watts of reliable continuous power, amazing efficiency, silent operation at low and medium loads. Um, of course, the 10 year Corsair guarantee, the ultra low noise fan and the 80 plus titanium. Okay, let's unbox this. Okay, does it have a seal? I don't know if it's supposed to have a seal, but uh, I'm still wondering where, is, where it should be with... Oh, okay. Okay, so these are the custom colors which you can have, like the labels on the PSU. And it comes with the... It comes with the blue color, the regular the like the default color i think it's gray and white and the red color and these are the modular cables oh but these one are different like i had the ax 1200i the modular cables were not labeled like this this is amazing like this is even more premium like this is even more premium you can see it says 24atx EPS, PCE, 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 startup, peripheral, USB, floppy, etc, etc. So these are very premium. And of course, the power cable, uh, the zip, uh, I think it's the, these are the ties and the sticker. And this is the power supply. And let's open this. Okay, so it it is definitely heavier. The size, uh, the size, uh, the size looks the same. And have a look at the modular slots. They're definitely more. They're like ten. Those those have those have like eight. So what else do we have? Okay, now let's do a size comparison between all the three of them. So we have the AX1600i, the AX1200i and the AX1200i. I think it is very much obvious they are pretty much the same size. Um, the AX1200i is pointy and the AX1600i the, and the AX1200i have this curved structure. And let me um, give you a reminder that as far as the build like the year of build is concerned, the AX1600i is the latest and the oldest is the AX1200i. And I think it's, uh, we can fairly say um, that uh, the AX1600i, which is in the middle, has more uh, PCE modular slots. Uh, you can see it has 10 and uh, uh, this one has eight. And that one has, like the ax 1200 i on the right also has eight. And as far as the size are concerned uh, and the weight, it, the HX1600i is definitely heavier. And uh, this is something new. Uh, this silver Corsair uh, logo. Uh, I think this pretty much uh, gives an idea that it's even more premium. I'm not saying that the AX1200i or the AX1200i are not that premium. They are also premium, but this one is even more premium. Okay, now let's talk about the fans. So when you talk about the fans, um, there's something different in the AX1600i. It has fluid dynamic bearing fan, while the AX1200i and the HX1200i have ball bearing, dual ball bearing fans. Well, like I said, the AX1600i has a fluid dynamic bearing fan instead, which is good. Um, okay, so let's try out, um, let's install it and let's see, let's have a look at its interface. So I installed the AX1600i in my system, my case, I also have a Corsair case. It's a 1000D super tower, it has a lot of space for a power supply as big as the 1000D. Okay, 
so uh, this is the Corsair link digital uh, connection so this cable goes through uh, goes right through the back to your motherboard and through this with the Corsair software it's called IQ you can control as well as monitor your PSU stuff so I'm gonna show you guys so uh, let's have a look at the Corsair IQ software okay so these are uh, the various Corsair products um, this is the Commander Pro it's for the 1000D case and this is the Lightning Note Pro for the fans so let's click on the AX1600i so as you guys can see it has a lot of uh, you can it has a lot of monitoring you can monitor the fan speed the temperatures the power in the power out the efficiency uh, the voltages of uh, the various um, uh, modular slots okay so this is the power in so let's so right now it is um, consuming almost like uh, 200 watts and the output is like 190 watts okay let's put some stress on the computer okay so let's put some stress on the CPU and I'm sure this is this is gonna rise yep This is, um, I have a 3090 Ti and a 9900K and uh, if I'm gaming uh, with my settings maxed out, maximum load this power supply um, uh, sucks from the wall is like 700 watt because of obviously my components. If I had a 3900K which was very much overclocked or a 4090, I'm sure it would have reached like 800, 900 maybe I could be wrong okay so the stress test is still going on let's check out the temperature the temperature is 41 uh, degrees centigrade I think it's it's good enough uh, I'm still not sure about the fan speeds I do have this custom uh, fan curve so the maximum that uh, as the temperature rises the curve gets higher and the fans should turn on I'm sure the fans are on right now but I have no idea to check it out and these are the various okay now there's something different I this is the PSU mode the single uh, rail OCP or the multi rail OCP okay if in case you guys are wondering what is the difference between a uh, single rail or multi rail multi rail sorry single rail PSU is you can say it sucks the power from a single source while mm, a dual rail or a multi rail PSU divides the total total uh, amperage um, across two or more rails. So it is said that multi rail is safer. Uh, it has like you have more safety mechanisms if you uh, if you have a multi rail PSU. But the AX sixteen hundred I and most of the high end PSUs have both these features, single and multi rail. So yeah so this is it so before i finish the video uh, i just want to give a huge shout out to corsair uh, basically what happened was my ax 1200i uh, it died and i got a uh, a replacement and the replacing the replacement i got was the ax 1600i which was kind of a huge upgrade for me because the ax 1600i is one of the best power supplies of the world and um, uh, literally like Corsair went out of the way to really help me out and it meant a lot and uh, again a huge shout out to them and uh, over the years I have used a lot of Corsair products I have never ever used any other power supply other than Corsair um, yes they have like two of my Corsair power supplies died um, and for both those I got a uh, RMA and uh, if you like this video 
uh, hit the thumbs up button subscribe and definitely hit the bell icon uh, it will help me out a lot and see you guys in some more unboxing videos